good. You, you okay? Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. We're here with our brother Mahmoud. By the way, I just came back from Istanbul, Turkey. Alhamdulillah. Beautiful country. Uh, brother Mahmoud, if you guys don't know, he's actually the cameraman behind Salam Initiative. So Salam Initiative, a, a very popular YouTube channel. He's going to give us some technology tips on if, how we can get the dawah started if you're you know, outside the UK. So please, Bismillah. Just the preface, uh, this is, these tips are only for people that don't know about camera, microphone and all that kind of stuff. For those that are more professional, obviously, we'll have to get into extreme detail. But just to start off, if you want to, I mean, record yourself uh, in the most basic way, all you would need is a tripod that you can buy off of Amazon, your phone, you don't need a camera or anything, and a microphone. Now those Rode microphones go directly into your phone and can uh, connect wirelessly to you as the speaker and directly uh, take the audio and put it into that video. So the way, uh, the way most people think is that they need to get their video quality at the, the best way that they can. But they forget that sound is the most important thing when it comes to either filmmaking or recording a video. So what I would say is focus more on the sound rather than the video. The video, you can do it with your phone. You don't need to, you know, we're not filming Hollywood movies here. You see what I'm saying? So anything that you can capture a uh, picture with, which is your phone, everyone has a smartphone these days. So you can just slap up, take your phone out, buy the road. Uh, let me show you which one it yeah. is. This one is, That'd the, be great. This one is the one we use. Yeah. This is just quick plug and play, basically, okay. this one. Yeah. It's wireless Go 2 yeah. and this uh, goes into your phone as well. There's a phone version of this mm -hmm. where it goes directly into your phone and yeah, you can get, I mean, amazing sound uh, for, for, for just talking yeah. talking to the, to the camera. Yeah. What we, yeah. But before this discussion, you, we mentioned a really good point, which is that so cell phone, tripod, and we can actually use another cell phone for to capture the audio. So oh, well, yeah, you yeah, can do that yeah, too. Yeah, every, we've actually tried that in Toronto. It actually has been effective. Yeah. So you have a second cell phone. And I, I've seen it a few times here in Hyde Park. You have a second cell phone where you capture the audio. You have an audio recorder. Yeah. And then you can you can literally just sync. I think a lot of the software editors will sync it automatically, the video to the edit yes, yes, audio. Yes. This is the last question about, this is the last question, of Brother Mehmet, about the, the editing. One good thing is that you don't have to edit a lot. But one thing I know brothers hate doing is the editing. Is there an easy way to sync the audio and the video? Yes, After very, recording? very, very easy. Actually, the way I would sync it, there's there's two ways, okay? If, if you're confused and you have like so much going on in one video, you have so many different uh, audio files, video files here and there, a good way to sync the audios in one click, basically, there's a program called Plural IS4, okay? If you download that, all you do is you drag and drop all your audio and video files randomly, you click on synchronize, and everything is synced and then you export the files and it's ready for you they're all synced up and everything and ready to edit or uh, another way you can do it is before you start the video you can just say okay debate one you know or tell, tell uh, you know you can say the date of what you're recording and, and so on and so forth and when you go back to the editing uh, we use Premiere Pro to edit so you would go onto the video and then you just put the audio in a random place highlight it okay right click click on synchronize audio and then pretty much just click on okay and it just syncs it very easy but in terms of uh, the phone that you were saying capturing uh, audio from the phone if you're alone and you don't have two phones buying this is a cheaper option okay you don't want to go buy another phone but if you have a friend with you you can get the uh, audio from the phone however it is no way near the quality that you will get from this okay just, just to let you guys know, yeah. Baraklafik, may Allah bless the Salam Initiative, may Allah bless our brother Mehmet. And this brother put me on the spot. Yeah. I wasn't expecting <laughs> to do this. I'm just making it up in my head. I'm sorry, may Allah, no, it was fantastic. Baraklafik, <laughs> salam alaikum, salam alaikum, salam alaikum, salam alaikum. Alhamdulillah, brothers, I just met uh, some of the brothers from uh, Dawah to Seoul, uh, SF Dawah. Alhamdulillah, they're just showing me some of the equipment that they get on Amazon. Can you please scroll up, scroll up to the top? Yeah. Some of this is actually only 20 pounds, uh, right? Which I think is about 30. $30 Canadian, right, um, or 20, 20 American. Um, the, whole, the whole tripod for your phone plus the stand, I think it'll cost you like $50, right? $50, 50 pounds, alhamdulillah. So we can inshallah look into these things. Yeah? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear brothers. 
I'm here with uh, Let's Unite Upon the Huck. Believe it or not, this is his simplest setup that we can, inshallah ta'ala, implement in, in the US and Canada. Uh, it's just a, a, a tripod as well as a cell phone holder and then microphone. Right? Very simple setup, alhamdulillah. So basically, how does the tape on, on the mic? Yeah. Those wireless teeth. Yeah. And then you got that one, obviously, the tripod, which is, you can get from. Um, so this is what it looks like if you, when you want to look at the equipment. This is what it looks like actually. Uh, holds a cell phone. So you don't need something fancy at all, that's the point. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters So we're still here uh, outside of Hyde Park Speaker's Corner I just want to show you something extremely important that we may often forget One of the most important things in da'wah which is our ibadah Taking care of our fara'id uh, As a reminder to myself and all of us inshallah ta'ala There are brothers that are actually organized and assigned Have assigned themselves, taken upon the obligation Every Sunday they bring this prayer mat alhamdulillah and sometimes there's actually three rows of brothers doing jama'ah here. And right beside it, we actually have a, uh, a da'wah table, alhamdulillah. Okay? So, so important, so important to, to take care of our ibadah, guarding our fara'id and our salah. And may Allah reward these brothers in the uh, dunya and akhirah. Uh, the brother didn't want to be on camera, but his name is uh, Sheikh Abdullah. So make dua for Sheikh Abdullah for, for doing this every Sunday, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Another take home point that I want to share is that I've talked to a few brothers about this as well too When you make a concerted effort not to put uh, lewd images or people walking in the background, women walking in the background Sometimes even dressed inappropriately There seems to be more baraka in that um, And this is like a, a really important reminder that I want to share The Dawah channels that I've seen where they make an effort to bl either blur out the women or just choosing a background, like a neutral background like this with a fence behind it or trees behind it, a wall so that nobody's walking in the background. That's respectful. I mean, think about it from an Islamic perspective. It, you know, if you don't want your, your sister, your mother, your daughter, your wife to be filmed on camera, right? And likewise, some of the brothers here, alhamdulillah, they carry that same principle. They, don't, they try their best not to film um, uh, sisters, uh, women, other people's family members, alhamdulillah, and that, that that seems to work, that seems to have more barakah in your da'wah efforts, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, more importantly, to reward you in the akhirah if you're, if you're able to do that. So, to, uh, kudos to all the channels that are doing that, um, and uh, I just wanted to share that important point. Everyone has different. Yeah, I'm going to go to the 